Hi, I'm Laura Lawson Boatman. In this video, I want to share with you my PEP for self-love process. This is a wonderful process that can really help you whenever you're feeling upset or uh, down or even anxious about things. It really is good for pretty much everything, any kind of emotional pain you're experiencing. So much of what we experience as emotional pain, I believe, comes from self-rejection and you know self-judgment that we don't allow ourselves to love ourselves as we are, to accept ourselves as we are. We put all these conditions on our self-acceptance even, you know, that we have to be a certain way, we have to look a certain way, we have to act a certain way, we have to achieve a certain level of success, we have to have these certain things, we have to have the approval of others and the acceptance of others in order to feel good about ourselves, in order to accept ourselves and love ourselves as we are. And that that's not really true. All of those are just ideas, just thoughts that we've picked up from wherever we picked them up, from our families, from our culture, from our experiences, from our peers, from the media. There's so many things that that sort of, that tell us that, you know, oh, you can't be happy and you can't feel good about yourself unless you have all of these different things. But you know what? That's all just a game of our ego. That just telling us, you know, that we have to do all of these things. We have to achieve all of these things in order to feel good about ourselves. But we're always chasing after that thing instead of just letting ourselves feel good right now. And when we do that, that's an act of self-love for ourselves. And that is the key and the doorway, the doorway to feeling that unconditional joy and happiness and well-being. So much of it is to let go of those self-judgments, to let go of that tendency to reject ourselves. We're not meeting some standard that our ego has set for ourselves or that someone else has set for us and that we've adopted as our own judgment. We don't need to do that. It's not real. It's not true. They're just ideas. No matter how much it seems true, it really isn't. We can love ourselves unconditionally. We can give ourselves that gift. And when we do that, we realize that our happiness doesn't depend on anything outside of us. It doesn't depend on getting the love of some particular person or, you know, achieving some level of success or having particular things in our lives or different experiences that really those things are nice to have but we can give ourselves the greatest gift of loving ourselves unconditionally moment by moment and this pet for self-love process can really help you to do that and it's okay if you don't feel aligned with it as we go through this it's all right in fact that can be a good thing because as you're going through and saying these phrases about loving and accepting yourself unconditionally if there's a part of you that says no that is not okay and no I don't feel that way then it might bring up sadness or it might bring up you know a feeling of, of, of frustration or irritation or whatever it might bring up that's okay those are the patterns that you're going to be releasing as you activate the pet points all right, so as you're activating those acupressure points, you're going to be releasing those patterns without having to focus on them directly. You're going to be flowing downstream with these wonderful phrases. And if you, you know, sort of get hung up someplace on, on a negative judgment, this flow, the activating the acupressure points while we say these positive phrases helps to gently move you through that and release you from that old pattern. So I'm going to be using the first 12 phrases from my Pep for Self Love process, and I'm going to repeat them three times. So as we go through this, see if you can see and feel yourself aligning more and more with them. As I said, it's okay if you don't feel that way at the beginning. Just continue and go through it and see how you feel after we do three rounds of this and see if you can feel yourself sort of releasing those judgments and coming into a place of feeling that unconditional well-being in this moment right now, which is really all there is that's the most important thing is to make that choice moment by moment to love and accept ourselves to allow ourselves to feel the joy of our being so all right so let's go ahead and do the process loving myself as I am loving myself unconditionally Loving the sweet child within me.
being my own unconditionally loving and accepting parent. Loving and acknowledging the divine being within me. Loving all of me as I am. Accepting myself completely. Being my own best friend, cheerleader, and comforter. Loving myself as I am in every moment. Loving and accepting myself totally and completely. Loving the richness of my being. Feeling safe in my unconditional self-acceptance. Loving myself as I am. Loving myself unconditionally. Loving the sweet child within me. Being my own unconditionally loving and accepting parent. Loving and acknowledging the divine being within me. Loving all of me as I am. Accepting myself completely. Being my own best friend, cheerleader, and comforter. Loving myself as I am in every moment. Loving and accepting myself totally and completely. Loving the richness of my being. Feeling safe in my unconditional self-acceptance. Loving myself as I am. Loving myself unconditionally. Loving the sweet child within me. Being my own unconditionally loving and accepting parent. Loving and acknowledging the divine being within me. Loving all of me as I am. Accepting myself completely. Being my own best friend, cheerleader, and comforter. Loving myself as I am in every moment. Loving and accepting myself totally and completely. Loving the richness of my being. Feeling safe in my unconditional self-acceptance. And so it is. Thank you. So how did that feel? It's such a wonderful process, isn't it? It just really gets to the heart of things, I think. And it's such a wonderful gift to give yourself. It feels like you're sort of wrapping yourself in a blanket of love and self-acceptance. And so it's very healing. It really does help to release those layers of, of you know, conditions and judgments that we have of ourselves and helps us feel that state of unconditional love and self-acceptance and the joy that goes along with that. So, you know, you can watch this video again if you want to go deeper into this feeling and you can come and watch it every day. It's a wonderful daily practice to acknowledge that you do love and accept yourself unconditionally as you are and to release those layers, whatever's there for in that moment. So, all right, and also I do have an MP3 of this process available at my website at lauralawsonboatman.com. So if you're interested, you can get a copy of that on my website. Um, it's a really wonderful process to use and lots of different ways for background affirmations and 
you know, sleep programming or any kind of things that you want to use it for. So I hope you, uh, I hope you really feel good though. I hope that helps you. And I hope you come and visit me on my website. You can sign up for my e-newsletter there and get updates about new videos and new programs and, and pet processes that I'm creating. So if you're interested, you'll find that again at lauralassenboatman.com. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear about your experience with this process and how you feel. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for giving me the chance to share this with you. It's a very meaningful process for me, and I hope it is for you as well. I hope it's helpful for you. All right, so many blessings to you, and I will see you in the next video.